Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am filming my August wrap-up for you all. I read seven books, which honestly is the best I've done so far this year, and I'm so happy that I was able to finish these books. So the first book I read in August was Get a Life Chloe Brown by Tally Hibbert. I give this a 4 out of 5 stars. In case you don't know, this is about a girl named Chloe who has a chronic disease. She almost has a close to death experience. And so after that experience, she decides that she wants to get a life. So she makes this list of things that she thinks she needs to do in order to accomplish this goal of getting a life. And through that, she meets Red, who is the cutest little bean I've ever seen. And from there, sparks fly between them. I really liked this story. I thought it was funny. I thought it was adorable, really touching at times. And I'm really actually looking forward to reading more books by Talia Hibbert because I think she just does a really good job of making you enjoy her characters. Um, I especially adored Red. I thought he was just super cute. So super like happy I was able to read this and super really looking forward to the next book. The next book I read was Salty Bittersweet by Myra Cuevas. I can't find my book for some reason, so I'm just going to put a picture up. I rated this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's about a girl who gets accepted into this cooking program at this five-star restaurant in France. So she moves in with her father and his new pregnant wife and she's trying to figure out where she fits into this new family that they're creating but also if cooking is really what she wants to do for the rest of her life. And I thought it was cute. I liked the cooking parts of the story, like when she would really get into her cooking and talk about what she was doing. I enjoyed the romance. It was really adorable, honestly. But overall, I thought the story was just okay. I felt like there were some moments that were not really flushed out, especially some of the issues she was having with this with her family. I feel like that could have been flushed out more with like just more conversations. But overall, I still thought it was a cute read and I'm happy I read it. So the next book I have on this list is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I gave this a 4 out of 5 stars. This is about two sisters who grew up in this town where having light skin, almost like white skin, even though you were black, was something to be celebrated. And so these twins were the lightest they could possibly be in that town. And so both of them hated the way the town like fetishized them and treated them. So one day they run away. And at that point, due to circumstances, they split up. One sister ends up marrying a dark-skinned man and having a child, but due to reasons, she ends up moving back to the, her town that she tried to escape from. And then the other sister ends up passing as white, and she just goes on to live this life that she gets because everybody thinks she is white. So I enjoyed this story. I enjoyed the fact that you got the like twins perspectives like both of the women but then you also got their daughter's perspective to show you how the choices that the sisters made really affected the daughters as well. I thought it was really interesting. It made me think a lot just about colorism in general but then like how that really affects your life you know and I just like the story and it was very intriguing. I definitely recommend reading this. I think it's really good. I'm excited to see what HBO, I think, does with this because I know it just got signed to be an adaption. Because I think while it was good, I think the TV show could be something even better. Like I think what they could do so much with that show that wasn't be able to be done here. So I'm very intrigued to see what happens there. 
All right, the next book I have is More Than Maybe by Erin Hahn. This is an advanced reader copy, but I really enjoyed this story. I gave it a five out of five stars. It's about a boy named Luke who does this podcast with his twin brother, and he has liked this girl, Veda, for like three years. <laughs> And somehow they finally get paired up for a class project and from there they just really start clicking because they have such a mutual interest in music and it's something they can communicate through. I really enjoyed this story. I thought Luke and Beta were so cute and I thought their problems were so relatable. The thing I like about Aaron Han's writing is that she writes these characters that you can honestly relate to no matter what. Like even like their issues that they're going through are not outrageous. They're like issues that anybody could be going through. So I really like that about her characters. I liked her first book, You'd Need Mine, as well. So I think Erin Han's gonna be a new favorite for me because I so far I've loved both of the books she's come out with. So I'm excited to see what else she like puts out. But I really did enjoy the story. I thought it was super cute. If you love stories like centered around music, then I think Aaron Tan's books will definitely be it for you. All right, so the next book I have is A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I gave this a five out of five stars. I loved this so much. In fact, this is the sequel to The In Ember and the Ashes. The fact that this book was literally them traveling the whole time and still there was so much going on and so many emotions being had from me is amazing and I really love this series I think it's so good I still hate Helene I think she's honestly so annoying but I still love Leia and Elias Elias I don't know how to say his name properly I'm sorry but I, I, I love it and I'm just I'm so excited to read the next one and honestly I think I'm so excited to read the next one so I can finish the series when the last book comes out because I know it's gonna be so good and so emotional. The next book I have is the graphic novel edition of The Lightning Thief by Ray Riordan. I didn't rate this because I decided that I wasn't gonna rate graphic novels anymore. I will say though I wasn't the biggest fan of this. Like the story was fine. I think it was the artwork mostly for me. I wasn't in love with it. So yeah but story was good even though I, I already know what happens but it was still a good story so so the last book I read was Her Royal Highness by Rachel Hawkins I gave this a four out of five stars this is about a girl named Millie who decides that she wants to go to school in I believe Scotland or Wales or like in between I think it's Scotland and she ends up rooming with Flora who is the sister of the prince from the first book, Prince Charming. And at first, they like really don't like each other. But then as the story goes on, they kind of start to develop feelings for each other. And I thought this book was super adorable. I loved it. I love Rachel Hawkins' writing. She makes her characters so funny and real, and you just want them to have great things. And that's just how I felt throughout this book. So I'm really excited that I read this, and I'm so looking forward to seeing what else Rachel Hawkins writes. I honestly am hoping she writes a third book from Seb's perspective, because I feel like he's the only one that we have haven't gotten a perspective from yet and I would love that so much. All right so that is my July wrap up for you all. Uh, I'm so happy I read these books. I'm so happy I may be getting my group back but yeah if you like the video please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns on any of the books I mentioned please leave all of that down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.